The ABC News exclusive we first told you about yesterday here on ABC 4 News at 5. A powerful new interview with the parents of murdered college track star Lauren McCluskey. Her parents spoke to Good Morning America's Amy Robach, saying they are fighting for justice, adding that they believe Lauren's death could have been prevented. Was Lauren's death preventable? Yes. Absolutely. This morning, the grieving parents of Lauren McCluskey are opening up for the first time since their daughter was killed on the University of Utah campus by a man she dated for just one month. She was so excited about having a career, about, you know, having a family in the future. Uh, and we won't get to see any of that or experience any of that. In October, the 21-year-old track star broke up with this man, Melvin Rowland, after discovering he was a registered sex offender on parole who lied about his age and identity. After the breakup, the 37-year-old began harassing her through email and text. McCluskey, feeling threatened, first contacted University of Utah campus police on October 12th. University Police and Security, how can I help you? Hi, uh, this is Lauren. I called a little uh, a few days ago about um, a situation and I wanted to kind of give an update. The college senior calling authorities on campus and at the Salt Lake City Police Department over the course of 10 days. I'm worried because I've been working with the campus police um, at the U, uh -huh. and uh, last Saturday I reported, and I haven't gotten an update. One thing she did tell me is that she said, I, she says it feels like I'm bothering them because she called, she was calling so much, and then and then I remember telling her, it's their job to listen to you, you know, if you're complaining. But about, they weren't about, listening. No, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't taking her seriously. Then, on the evening of October 22nd, tragedy struck. Can you tell me? Can you walk me through what happened? I was on the phone with her as she was, as she was coming home from class. And then, all of a sudden, she yells, no, no, no. And then, the line was still open. And, and, then, uh, and then, Matt called 911. She was abducted while we were talking to her on the telephone. So we heard her being assaulted. At that moment, police say Roland grabbed McCluskey, pulled her into a car, and shot her. Roland later took his own life. So this is Lauren's room. At their home in Washington State, Lauren's track medals still hang on the wall. The McCluskeys now say the University of Utah failed their daughter. They should have investigated. They would have very quickly found his parole status and one call and it would, we wouldn't be sitting here today. Shortly after her death, the University of Utah's president releasing an independent review of the case and announcing actions to improve campus safety. The report does not offer any reason to believe that this tragedy could have been prevented. The university president said that there was nothing that could have been done to prevent Lauren's death. I just had a sick stomach for days after that. In a statement to ABC News, the university says they grieve Lauren's loss and that their report, quote, identified areas of deficiency in the university's systems and processes and made 30 recommendations for ways to improve them. The university is acting immediately to correct the deficiencies. If that's true, if there, there was, was no way, then why are all of these reforms being implemented, these changes, Correct. it would be pointless. When asked about this directly, the university again acknowledged serious mistakes were found and is now working to correct them. This as the McCluskeys start a new foundation in Lauren's honor, hoping to improve campus safety and celebrate their daughter's life. Are you angry? Mostly sad. Uh, you know, the sadness is so complete, I don't have room for, for anger. But we want, we do want change.